Hi, and welcome to another power yoga practice. Uh, the idea here today is that we will um, move fairly quickly to reset, get a little refocus. Um, we, I know that we are nearing the end of the semester and we are getting close into finals week and um, time is of the essence. And so um, I am going to, um, for the next few sessions, I'm going to record some um, shorter and more efficient, um, more compact types of classes so that um, you have no excuse to skip yoga, right? Sometimes you don't have an hour, but sometimes you do have 30 minutes or 25 minutes. And so um, some of these shorter classes are, uh, are going to be ideal for you as you um, uh, compress your schedule and start to balance lots of um, pressing responsibilities. And so um, today is a power yoga practice, and so we will move, we will get sweaty, uh, but it perhaps won't, just won't be quite as drawn out um, and perhaps not as, um, as in-depth as um, some sessions that we do in the past. So go ahead and um, get nice and comfortable on your mat, lie down on your back. Um, let's begin with a, a little breathing practice. If you have a block um, or some sort of bolster to create a supported back bend, I do recommend that just to kind of um, passively get started with opening up the chest across the shoulders, um, especially if you've been sitting um, for any length of time. And so um, go ahead and go there. Um, and if you have the block, like I just mentioned, then you would be like this um, with the block underneath your shoulder blades. And then you're creating that back bend. If you do not have a block or if you do not like the block, um, then just be on your back. And something that you can do um, is when you're, you're on your back, if you walk your shoulders down and away from your head, so, um, so you start to kind of stretch out the neck on the mat, and then it also elevates the rib cage up and off the earth, kind of starts to create um, a little bit of a back bend here on the mat without the use of a bolster or something like that. And so you might just explore what that feels like rolling the shoulders down and under here on the mat as we start to connect with our breath. Let's take 10 intentional, long, slow breaths together. Start by exhaling all the air out of the lungs. And then all together, inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. In, three, two, one. Out, three, two, one in three, two, one out 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 three. Two, one, last three, two, one, out three, two, one. And now just allow your breath to continue flowing naturally through your body. If you want to lengthen it even more or if you want to slow it down, just passively allow it to move through your body. And while you do this, go ahead and just drop your head off to the right to the left. Just kind of mobilizing your neck as you turn it to the right to the left, turning it over one shoulder then the other. Think of this as a little massage for the back of your head, and that can feel really nice. And then reach the arms overhead, point the toes toward the front. Just take a nice, long, full-body stretch here on your back, reaching with the right fingertips, reaching with the left fingertips, right and left, kind of starting to elongate right side, then left side. And you might even explore what it's like to reach with your toes, too. And so same side as your fingers, as you're reaching, you're also pointing your toes like somebody's stretching you on the floor. Reaching up and overhead, right to left. All right, now hug the knees to the chest. Gently roll side to side. And up and down. Up to the neck, down to the tailbone. Take some nice deep breaths here as you move, too. Really, as we start to energize and build some heat in our joints, our muscles, the more you can take those full deep breaths, completely in, complete inhales, complete exhales, the more you will build that heat in your body 
and start to extend that heat all through your joints and muscles. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead and roll over the ankles, take it forward into tabletop, and we're just going to rip right into it with a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale as you lengthen the sternum forward. Exhale as you tuck the chin to the chest, rounding the spine. Take it away on your own time, on your own breath. Just a few rounds of cat-cow, forward, backward, flexion of the spine. And then also right here as we're exploring our range of motion in the spine, you might take some right to left movement, dropping your shoulder towards your hip, shoulder towards your hip. Maybe some big shoulder rolls here for the upper back and maybe even leaning into the outer hip, leaning the hips to the right to the left. Don't forget about your neck here, too. You might peek up toward the sky around one shoulder than the other. Just explore some total range of motion, some organic movement here for your spine, your rib cage, your neck, your low back. Oh, this is kind of nice. I think I just made this up. Drop one elbow toward the earth and then drop the other elbow toward the earth. And as you lower your elbow, it also lowers your shoulder, also kind of starts to explore a little bit of movement in the upper back, the side ribs. That's kind of nice. All right, curl the toes under, take an inhale. And on the exhale, straighten the legs, lift the hips, take it back to downward facing dog. All right, let's warm up our shoulders and our core stabilization. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Downward facing dog. Last time, inhale forward to plank. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward to the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold. Step your feet hip distance apart. Bring your hands to your shins. Flat back, halfway lift. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to stand. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Let's take it through some half sun salutations here from the top of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Two more half sun salutations. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's keep using our breath to warm up. We're going to take some skier breaths. So as you inhale, reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Bend the knees, bend the hips, just like you're skiing down the mountain. Inhale. Nine more. Eight more. Seven more. Six more. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Inhale, stand all the way up. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step it back to plank, lower all the way to the mat. Reverse push-up. Inhale, cobra. Just peel the chest and shoulders off the mat. Exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. And while you're here in downward facing dog, maybe just take a little, few little shoulder taps here. Pick up one hand, tap thumb to same shoulder. Thumb to same shoulder. So you're not crossing the midline. You're staying on the same side. And the idea here is that you're not wiggling too much from right to left. You're stabilizing yourself as you pick up one arm, 
than the other. All right, let's take it forward to a push-up, top of the push-up plank position. Let's do a few more shoulder taps. Pick up your hand, tap your same shoulder with your thumb. Let's do right, left, right, left. We'll do 10 of these, starting to fire up the core. Two more. All right, lower all the way to the earth, bend at the elbows. Inhale, cobra, just peel the chest and shoulders off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do one set of those shoulder, again, of those shoulder taps, both in downward facing dog and in plank. So some shoulder taps in downward facing dog. Right, left, right, left. Six or eight or ten. And once you've done a few of those, lower the hips in line with the shoulders, top of the push-up, a few more shoulder taps, six or eight. All right, lower all the way to the earth. Cobra on the inhale, downward facing dog on the exhale. While you're glancing back at your feet, step your feet a little bit wider than mat width apart and walk your hands back to find your feet coming into a low, low squat. So let's hang out here at the bottom of your squat, first squat of the day. So maybe try rocking back and forth from right to left, kind of warming up that ankle mobility, shifting your body weight from right to left. Since this is the beginning of your practice, it's... Totally fine with me if your heels peel off the earth as you rock right to left, but ultimately the goal in your squat is to have the heels down on the earth when you are in a stationary squat. All right, so come on back to center. Bring the hands to heart center. Elbows are just inside the knees. Chest is nice and tall. Gaze is forward and breathe into the belly. Let's take three breaths here at the bottom of the squat. Not too many, not too few, just right. All right, bring the hands to the earth. Take an inhale at the bottom of the squat. And on the exhale, straighten the legs. Lift the hips. Shake out the legs. Breathe into the inner thighs. Inhale to drop the hips back below the level of the knees. And we're going to move from the squat to the fold with our breath. So exhale into the fold. Inhale back into the squat. Exhale into the fold. Inhale into the squat. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You might heel toe your feet underneath your hips here. Take a soft bend in the knees and just kind of start to explore a little rotation with the upper body. So you're using your hands to kind of walk your upper body around your legs here. Kind of explore maybe having a soft bend in the knee or maybe explore starting to straighten the knee to the right, to the left. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. Check in with where you might be carrying some extra tension here as you're moving in this little ragdoll variation. All right, so come on back to center. Bring the feet back beneath the hips. Bring the hands to the shins. Halfway lift, lengthen the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Um, if you wandered off the mat or off to the back of the mat, go ahead and come on back to the top of the mat. Let's take it through three sun, full sun salutations. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step it back to plank. Take it through a slow. At the end of that exhale, walk, step, or float your feet top of the mat, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Two more. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two long, slow breaths in downward facing dog. And at the end of that exhale, walk, step, or float your feet to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Let's take one more full sun salutation. Inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth, step it back to plank, take it through a flow. So from here on out, um, take the vinyasa variation that works for you. And so if you prefer lowering all the way to the earth and taking cobra, or if you prefer chaturanga and upward facing dog, please do what whatever would feel really nice for you, whatever is in line with your goals, really, what you want to get out of your practice. Glance up at the hands, walk, step or float your feet, top of the mat, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale to stand, sweep the arms, exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Let's take it through a spinal flow sequence, starting to wake up the upper back and the low back. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, cactus arms, gaze goes up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind the back. Inhale, arms overhead, back to center. Exhale, fold over the legs. And as you do, bend the knees, lift the heels off the earth, tuck the chin to the chest, coming into just a little tiny ball. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, straight legs. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, right back where we started. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, cactus arms, gaze goes up. Drop the head back. Inhale, arms overhead, back to center. Exhale, fold over the legs, bend the knees, tuck the chin to the chest, round the spine. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Activate the the space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Dancing warrior flow from the top. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step it back to plank. Follow your breath through a flow. Two breaths in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, lead with the heel. Exhale, knee to nose. And as you do, bring your upper body forward so that your shoulders are over your wrists and you're really active in the upper back. And can you engage the low belly enough that you can step the right foot next to the right thumb? So we're getting really active in the low belly as we bring the leg forward, not using momentum, using core strength. Inhale, arms overhead, back heel is lifted. Crescent lunge, soft bend in the back knee, front knee is over the front ankle. A little tuck under with the tailbone to stretch the hip flexor. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, lower the arms in line with the shoulders coming into warrior two. Front knee is still over the front ankle. Back leg is straight now. And if you glance down at your feet, you want your front heel to be in line with the arch of the back foot. Flip the right palm up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Gaze goes up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, circle the hands to the earth, step it back to plank and take it through a flow. Follow your breath. Left side, inhale, lift the left leg, lead with the heel. 
Exhale, knee to nose, rock your body weight forward over your wrist. And with that muscular strength in your core, step the left foot forward next to the left thumb. Find your balance as you inhale, rise into crescent lunge. Soft bend in the back knee. Front knee is obviously over the front ankle. Elbows are straight, palms facing each other. Feel that stretch in the right hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two, spin the back heel down, gazes forward over the left fingertips, neck is long, shoulders down and away from the ears. Flip the left palm up, inhale, reach forward, and exhale, reverse warrior, gaze goes up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, circle the hands, step it back to plank, take it through a flow. And at the end of that next exhale, glance up at the hands, walk, step, or float your feet to the top of the mat, forward, fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, to stand, sweep the arms, exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Let's do another set of squat to fold sequence here, just to keep warming up our hips. So step your feet um, about mat width apart, nice and wide, squat distance apart. Body weight is in heels. On the next inhale, reach the arms overhead as you sink into the squat. Find lift through the chest. The arms are either overhead or they're just counterbalancing forward. The idea here is that you're really fighting for elevation in the upper body, and you want to build flexibility in the upper back at the bottom of the squat. And so if you feel like you're pancaking forward in the squat, ideally you do want to get your chest lifted as much as possible because structurally this is going to be the soundest squat mechanics for if you want to introduce any amount of load, things that you might be picking up or carrying around. Are you over the squat yet? Go ahead and lift the hips into the fold on the exhale. Inhale into the squat. Let's move with breath. Exhale into the fold. Inhale into the squat. Exhale into the fold. Inhale. Exhale. All right, if that's plenty for you, you might continue to move through the squat and fold or take your time and perhaps take a little break in either the fold or the squat. If you want to try opening up a little bit more in the side body as you're here in the bottom of the squat, plant the left hand and open it up, reach the right fingertips toward the sky, gaze goes up, bring it back to center, plant the right hand, switch sides. <sighs> Inhaling as you reach. Exhaling as you bring it back to center. A couple more times each side. All right, now all together, straighten up the legs. Relax into a forward fold. Step it back to plank. Pause for a moment. And since this is power yoga, just to heat things up a little bit, let's do another set of six or eight shoulder taps. Tap your thumb to your shoulder, thumb to shoulder, and try to minimize the amount of wiggle that you're doing in your hips from right to left. Makes it a little bit more challenging, increases the load, the demand on the core. Let's take it through a flow. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step it through next to the right thumb. Inhale, crescent lunge. Warrior two, exhale. Flip the right palm up, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior, gaze goes up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, right elbow finds the knee, left fingertips toward the sky. Stay for the inhale. And on the exhale, nice long circle with the left fingertips toward the earth. Plant the hand, lift the back heel. Inhale, right fingertips toward the sky, revolved side angle. Feel that stretch down the outside of the right leg, the IT band. Stay for the inhale. 
And on the exhale, circle the right hand to the earth, step it back to plank, take it through a flow. Same thing on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it through next to the left thumb. Establish your balance as you inhale for crescent lunge. And exhale for warrior two. Flip the left palm up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Gaze goes up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Side angle on the exhale, elbow finds the knee, reach the right fingertips up toward the sky, nice long side stretch on the right side waist, and on the exhale, circle that right arm to the earth, plant the hand, lift the back heel, inhale, revolve, side angle. So you're turning the midline toward the left inner thigh here, breathe into that left IT band, take one more inhale, and on the exhale, circle the hand to the earth, step it back to plank, take it through a flow. You always have the option to add some little extra push-ups, any other little fancy things you want to try in your flow. Please feel free to add those in. <sighs> After the exhale, glance up at the hands, walk, step, or float your feet, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, to stand, sweep the arms. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. <sighs> All right, so shift all of your body weight to your left foot. We're going to explore some balancing poses, all right? So shift all of your body weight to your left foot. Bring the right knee up in line with the hip. Bring the arms overhead. On the exhale, can you hook your right elbow over your left knee, sink into a standing figure four, and on the inhale, come out of it the way you came into it. Let's do that again on the exhale. Standing figure four. Inhale, come on out of it. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, come on out of it. Moving with breath, with balance. Exhale. And inhale. Um, fifth and last time, exhale. And inhale. Let's set everything back down. So moving with balance. Shift all of your body weight to your right foot. Inhale, bring the left knee up in line with the hip. And exhale, standing figure four, hooking the left ankle over the right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, I lost count. I think this might be our second to last one. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. If you did a few too many on this side, I do apologize. Come on out of it the way you came into it. And exhale everything down. <laughs> All right, come on back to the top of the mat. Let's add a little bit to that dancing warrior side angle, revolve side angle flow. Um, getting a little bit more into our hip. Um, here we go. <laughs> Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step it back to plank. Follow your breath. All right, lift the right leg, inhale, lead with the heel, exhale, step it through next to the right thumb, crescent lunge on the inhale, warrior two on the exhale, flip the right palm up, inhale, reach forward, and on the exhale, reverse warrior gaze goes up, inhale, back to warrior two, side angle on the exhale, and you should know this by now, there are greater depths that you can take in the side angle, so it's totally up to you. Find the depth that works for you today. Take another inhale. And on the exhale, circle the left hand to the earth. Lift the back heel. Inhale, reach the right fingertips to the sky. Revolve side angle. Okay, now heel toe that right foot 
off the mat, so nice and wide. Put a lot of space between your front foot and your front hand. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, plant the right hand inside the right foot. But don't move your feet yet because you're going to open it back up into this revolve side angle. And you're going to close it with your breath. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, close it with your breath. Follow your own breath four or five full rounds here. And if you find that you start to open up a little bit of space in that hip joint, then you might be able to drop your elbow to the earth when you close it down. Follow your breath. Follow what's working for you today, what feels really nice. and step it back to plank, take it through a flow. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg, lead with the heel. Exhale, step it through next to the left thumb. Find your balance as you inhale for crescent lunge. Exhale for warrior two. Flip the left palm up, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior, gaze goes up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Side angle on the exhale. Stay for a couple rounds of breath here, exploring that side angle, really getting into this side body. So everything here is in this lateral stacked plane. And so you're... You're not finding a twist here. You're finding side bend, side opening. Take an inhale. And exhale, circle the right hand to the earth. Lift the back heel. Inhale, left fingertips to the sky. Revolve side angle. All right, now let's move with breath. Close it back down. Create this space so that you can close your left hand to the earth. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, close it back down. Move with your breath, finding that trunk rotation here, nice and stable. And after a few more of these, if you also want to try dropping your elbow to the earth, if you did so on the other side, opening it up and closing it down into a slightly deeper hip opener here, breathing into that inner thigh. And on the next exhale, step it back through plank, take it through a flow. All right, so right from downward facing dog, inhale, lift the right leg again. And on the exhale, step it through next to the right thumb, lower the back knee to the earth. Take an inhale with the front knee over the front ankle. And exhale, roll that right leg towards straight. So we're going from a low lunge on the inhale to a half split hamstring stretch on the exhale. So again, just like, just like with our uh, revolved side angle, move with your breath. And so take this forward and back from the lunge to the half split. And you might, depending on how you're feeling today, you might heel toe that foot forward to perhaps explore even more depth in this stretch here. You might speed it up. You might slow it down.
And after you've done this several times, go ahead and sink back into the hamstring. And we're going to hang out here for a few breaths. And something that you might like to try is finding a little bit of a rotation in the leg. So it's like you're smashing a bug underneath your heel. And as you rotate it to the right and to the left, you're also getting a rotation in your hip socket here. And getting into your hamstring, inner thigh, IT band. Just seeing what comes up. See what little information filters to the surface. All right, so let's go ahead and come on back out of that. Just take it right back to tabletop and nothing fancy. We're just going to step at the left foot forward. So we're going right into the same little stretching sequence on the left side now. So front knee over the front ankle and then rolling that left knee towards straight as you also roll the toes toward the sky. And so the idea here is that once again, you start out with a nice and easy hip to hamstring stretch. And then as it starts to open up, you might start to lean into it. You might start to explore some depth. You might to, you might try holding it for longer. And then after a few minutes there, try pausing on the exhale, pausing with your left leg straight, and perhaps exploring some rotation here in that right hip. Rotate it to the right, to the left. Turn the toes in, turn the toes out. Turn them in, turn them out. <sighs> Go ahead and slowly press it right back up to tabletop. And let's um, let's take a, some mobility for the upper back here. So pick up the right hand. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up toward the sky. And on the exhale, reach it under and through toward the left edge of the mat. Settle the arm, the side of the face down on the earth. And then if it's comfortable for you, walk your left fingertips forward. And so you're using the earth and your shoulder propped against it to help you into a twist here for the upper back.
I'm going to slowly press back up out of it. Come back to tabletop and just for a few rounds to get through some cat-cow, nice organic movements here. You want to drop one shoulder, then the other, some little neck rolls. All right, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Pick up the left arm, reach the left fingertips up. And on the exhale, roll it under and through toward the right edge of the mat or the right wall. And then also walk your fingertips, your right fingertips forward. Relax your neck, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Do a little body scan and relax what you can relax. Sometimes we can tend to like clench some muscles or grit our teeth or hold our breath. See where you can soften, where you can relax. And then slowly press your way back up. Come on back out of it and make your way onto your back into a resting pose for you, a final resting pose. Whatever that looks like for you, relax your arms, relax your legs, relax your jaw. Maybe that's reclined, maybe it's seated. Maybe it's taking another supported back bend here on your back. Just like a resting pose that truly does allow you to relax, allows you to breathe. Shavasana.
and slowly begin to reawaken the body. Wiggle the fingers, the toes, roll out the wrists, the ankles. Reach the arms overhead toward the back. Point the toes toward the front. Take a deep breath and a full body stretch from fingers to toes. And on the exhale, roll over to the right side. Slowly make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes when you get there. Lightly rest your hands on your knees. Bring your awareness back into the sensations in your body, the depth and quality of the breath, the awareness and clarity of your mind. On the next inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, pull that breath to heart center. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. And that is that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.